I want that stage cleaned up and everything just as it was. And get the blood stains off their duds. You gotta look like the real McCoy, Johnny, when you ride into Culver City. I'll see you there. Don't you worry.
evidentemente i banditi sapevano in quale giorno avremmo trasferito l'oro. La stage che hanno ambushed early that morning was also headed for Culver. They killed the escort driver and shotgun. Then they rode into the city and the rest was easy. As the shipment was supposed to arrive that day, nobody suspected a thing. Once in the bank, they quietly murdered the staff. And took their places. Right. But where the hell did they get their information? I don't know for sure. But I do know this, Colonel. That plan has the stink of one of two authors. Maybe I recognize his signature. I was hoping that might be the case. I chose you for this, Captain Norton, because on a job of this nature, I need someone who's familiar with these bandits and their working methods. Bring that bullion back in and wipe out those vermin if you can. The men of the 8th Cavalry are at your disposal, Captain. As many as you want. I want just one man. Hunter. Hunter? But you're the one who arrested him two months ago for robbery and desertion. El Chaleco. That's right, sir. The Mexicans gave him that name for the fancy gold vest he wears everywhere. He probably doesn't take it off even when he bathes. It'd be like trusting a rattlesnake. The moment your back was to him, he'd kill you. And apart from that, he's sentenced to hang tomorrow. Sure, but it's not yet tomorrow, Colonel. If you want me to get that gold back, then he's the man I want. Well, I'm sorry, Captain, but I'm not in a position to revoke the official sentence handed down at a court-martial. Morning. Sleeping in? <laughs> you must figure that a real funny remark, Captain Norton. I'm sure you'll give the army a fine swing in death. Tell me, have you made your peace with God? Are you well prepared for death? Are you... Norton! You go to hell! I think you'll get there before me. You've already got a head start. I'll say one thing about the army. They sure build beautiful scaffolds. This one will be a real credit to your corpse. Listen, you. Just because you're the one put me away. The hero responsible for the noose I'll wear tomorrow. Do you have to play games? Can't you leave me at peace now? It'll be a pleasure to watch when they hang such a piece of scum. <laughs> We'll meet in hell, you bastard, Norton. We'll meet before that, Chileco.
The horses? Why the devil aren't they out yet? Lieutenant, sir, the stable door is stuck. The stable door is stuck in a closed position, Colonel, sir. The door stuck? Yes, sir. The men can't get in. Well, break it down, then. You heard the Colonel. Hey, you guys, break the door down. I assure you, they won't get far, Colonel. I myself will head to search. Break that door down. <laughs> Are you going to feed me? No, you can feed yourself. First, we'll have a little talk. Yeah. That's a good idea. You might explain just why you've spent over two years fitting a rope around my neck, just to save me. It's simple. I need you. I'm looking for a guy who stole $50,000 that belongs to the Army. You know all the outlaws. So I want you to help me. If you help to recover the gold, it might save your neck. Otherwise... Otherwise what? I'll take you back. And you can finish that ceremony you started. There's one thing I don't get, Norton. The plan of yours was pretty sharp, but why did you wait till this morning? We couldn't annul the decision of the court-martial, and there was no way to, to suspend the sentence. Hmm. And how do you know when you're not looking? I will put a couple of bullets through you. Well, I guess I'll just have to take your word. As a gentleman. The coffee fresh still?
Cordero! Cordero! Zacatecas has news for you of great importance. Uh, importance? Speak. I am sorry to disturb you, senor, but I saw a covered wagon with many soldiers in escort, and I believed it was muy importante because it was very heavy and well guarded, and I thought that if I told the great senor Cordera, being as how he is such a great patron, that I, his humble servant, might be getting... Enough, Tribu, where did you see it? Senor Patron, I saw the wagon at Yellow Pass three days ago on the road to Culver City. Going to Culver? You made sure of that? Si, senor Cordero. I followed the wagon to Culver. They unloaded two very heavy boxes and carried them into the There bank. were others with you? No, senor, I was alone. I came right away here without speaking of it to anyone else. Gracias, amigo. Now we must make certain that our secret is kept between us. No. Muchachos, there is gold waiting for us in the Culver City Bank. My horse has gone lame on me. Well, it's not far now. Come on, get up. He'll walk. your energy. I hate to tell you this, Chaleco, but the uh, chamber's empty. And I hate to tell you, there was a bullet I just fired in the air. Get out. Thank <laughs> you. 
last thing I could do is kill you, Norton. But I'm alive because of you. So now we're even. See you in church. The man we're after is Billy Gunn. I'd mind, thanks.
called the Bible was Billy Gunn did that first job. In fact, oh, this, this, and this to him and his bunch of murderers. And the leg? Cordero, he and his coyotes tried this morning, but we'd hidden all the gold. And when they got here, we were waiting for them. Anybody follow Billy? Yeah, apparently they're headed through the Yaki Pass. Trouble is, the darn trail splits after that. Sorry, gents, I'm afraid that's mighty slim pickings. Though you might have a couple of words with old Jim Double Whiskey. I understand he was around those parts that day. Where do we find this Jim Double Whiskey? You shouldn't have no trouble, mister. If he ain't in that saloon, that means he's dead. <laughs> Let me through. Let me in. <laughs> Talk to Jim Double Whiskey. Sure, I'll get him, mister. <laughs> See me? Where's Billy Gunn? Well, how should I? If he tells us, he gets a whole bottle of whiskey. Or else we're just gonna have to beat him up. Like double whiskey was right. They rode over the pass and up towards Little Canyon. The wagon that left these tracks was heavy. Hmm.
That's enough. The party's over. We're leaving. Load your gold in the wagon. And be quick about it. Go on. Start loading. Things they must have laid over somewhere for a few days. The tracks are fresh now and heading straight for Mexico. And that means they gotta pass through a little canyon to get to the river. How many hours in front of us are they now? Not more than three or four, I'd say. And with that heavy wagon, they're traveling easy. The right place to wait is Little Canyon. We gotta get there first. Well, let's ride. ambush him in the canyon. Yeah. over there. I'll stay here. There's cover on both sides. That's good. What are these two damn gringos doing here? It's better that the gold stays with the leak gun. That's Cordero. Don't shoot, muchachos. And we must not let them fire. Bring 
Bring the dogs over here. experience great suffering for that. You're gonna be real sorry. You'll get bad luck wearing that. And God help you if it's dirty when I catch up with you. <laughs> Either of you will be doing any catching up, gringos malaritos. You will just lie there till something comes along to drink the milk. Vamos, muchachos. Cove is a mighty respectable town now. We don't seem to get any real bad and through here anymore. Now, those two you were just talking about, Lieutenant. I'm a gopher's head. It's already empty. Listen, old man, your memory is so far. I had nearly two bottles of lubrication. You still haven't told me a damn thing. Ah, you mean about those two gents with the gold vest? They're dirty outlaws, not gentlemen. And only one wears a gold vest. Ah, but then those must be the gents I first thought you... Yes, I'm talking about those two. Now, you should explain that before, Lieutenant. What was that question you've been asking? Where did they go from here? I admit the double whiskey's getting old, but them ears of his are pretty good. I wouldn't swear to nothing, Lieutenant, but you could try a little canyon. Let's move. We'd never make it. There's too much damn water. Yeah. Well, we'll have to go up river about 10 miles and wait over in that abandoned mine. There'll be no more rain now. Water will go down soon enough. Stick behind the wagon and wipe out our tracks. Yeah!
Hey, you're a pretty good shot. Yeah, lucky for you, stranger. Uh, by the look of things, that somebody don't like you too much. That ain't surprising in this territory. It's full of snakes. No-legged and two-legged kinds. You were darn lucky we came by. No fun lying out here in your long dong. Yeah. Captain. These fellas already done us a favor, right? Can't ask them for more than that. Mm-hmm. Water's much too deep. They'd never have gotten a wagon through that. There's another crossing point at Golden Pass. That's about two hours right upstream. That territory is patrolled by the army, Chileco. He's likely to have trouble there. No, he's probably holed up in the old abandoned mine that I used to use myself for emergencies. I get the feeling you're pushing for a promotion. Come on, General, let's go to that mine. It's not that easy. We wouldn't stand a chance, just the two of us. It's like a fortress down there. With two of us, you're right. What about 40? Where are we going to find 40 men? Our friend Cordero. It's an idea. Captain, you're mad. The whole thing's playing crazy. Where do we find Cordero? In San Pedro. That's his village. All right. Lead the way. I might just as well have got my neck stretched. Chileco, don't you want your vest back? Hmm. Devil refused to come and get you. This time I leave nothing to chance. And when you arrive in hell, say I sent you. You're making a mistake, a bad one. We didn't come here to get killed. We came to talk. You want to speak to me? Hmm? You arrive here in San Pedro, you murder seven of my men, then pretend that you want to speak to me? You hear that? They want to speak to me. <laughs> if seven of your men are dead, they couldn't have been worth anything. What we came to say is worth a great deal more. A couple of hundred thousand dollars. In gold. You are a lying dog, Gringo. Take your filthy hands off of me. <laughs> Jose! Speak, Gringo. And quickly, just a minute. Hey, you. Real elegant. <coughs> Put 
Cordero. We know where to find Billy Gunn, and he's got the gold. You've got plenty of men, so we get it together. Then we split 50-50. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> bueno. Over here are the San Muerto Mountains. And right here, there's an abandoned mine. You can find the mine, huh? Yeah, no problem there. The gold is inside. All you gotta do is cover the entrance. That way you can shoot up as men as they break out. Well, muchachos, what are we waiting for? Don't be impulsive. What means impulsive? A fast thinker. The mine has a complex of tunnels which lead to another way out. Now, if we attack the main entrance, then Billy Gunn will disappear out through the other entrance into the hill. As you say, I'm a fast thinker. I put some men at the other entrance and wait. <laughs> and where are you going to look for it? You got miles and miles of twisting, complicated tunnels leading through the hills every which way. You needn't let it worry you. We'll find out where it is. Somebody has to get inside the mine and follow the passages through to the other entrance. You can leave that side of it to me. Get into position tonight. The explosion's the signal to attack. And remember this. Billy Gunn is mine. He is very sure of himself. That's right. Billy Gunn is his brother. You take the next watch in an hour.
Gringo, vamos. Sure, Frank. Sure, deal. Hey, Ned. Ned! Ned, wake up! We're getting out of here before sunup. I want you two to ride point as far as the river. Hmm. Sure thing. Cards. I could kill you if I wanted, but I'm not here for you or for her. I'm here for the gold. That gold's mine. <laughs> but you'd have to give some of it to your men. There's enough for all of us. Hmm. Not now, there ain't. The mine is surrounded, Billy Gunn. By Cordero's Mexicans. You and your boys will never get out of here. You got but one chance. Put yourself completely into my hands. Throw in with me. And we'll get out with a the bullion. Then, 
Split the gold, little brother. Right down the middle. All right. Could be you're just trying to bluff, Chaleco. Yeah? You mean you don't trust the word of your brother? Well, you're wrong. Move on. The whole lot's gonna go in a minute. 
it out. Hijos de putos, I will make them beg for death. ¡Vamos! Just now, Ted. One of us had better go and find a mule or pack horse. Don't worry about it, Billy. This is as far as you're going. You took my gun. They make too much noise, anyhow. You used to be pretty good with a knife.
Pepita. Why? I did not hear from you no more of your letters. I began to think you must be dead. They kept telling me you were, and he forced me to stay, to stay with him. I prayed that... that you... that you... Doesn't matter now. We got a problem, Chaleco. This stuff weighs a ton. We don't have enough horses. Jingles, do not worry about the gold. Here are plenty of horses. <laughs> There's federal troops all over this area. It'd be safer to travel at night. They're thinking to me, Gringo. I make the decisions here. We rest in San Rafael and cross the border at night. You can make your own decision when we are in Mexico. <laughs> Cordero, a platoon of soldiers are following our tracks. They are now about four miles behind us. Muy bien. We will give them a warm welcome. Trying to do, I end up with my neck getting stretched. You appreciate my little game, I see. 
You perform like the real professionals. And I will pay you, gringos, with one quick bullet. The bullet will be for only one of you. The other will hang slowly. <laughs> Billy Gunn, now you will see what happens to gringos who cross Cordero. The problem is one maybe that could arise again in the future. Should I find you've been lying, amigo. So take warning before it is too late. <laughs> I think as you are the heaviest... I will be back later to finish this. Cut them down and tie them to the post. Vamos!
This time you will really die. Oh, I've made mistakes. <laughs> but no more gringos. My friends, you were simply lucky before. <laughs> but your luck, she's run out. Adios, amigos. of the United States Army, you are now under arrest. <laughs> Colonel, sir, I've caught the two men I was after. Captain Norton and Chaleco. I've placed them under arrest. The gold's on the mules, Colonel. Mission completed. Thank you, Norton. I'll be putting in for your, uh, your promotion today. Thank you. 